Hi, this is Pete Lyons with Let's Play Salesforce. And in this quick video, we're going to show you how to install and play uh, Blackjack for Salesforce. So first, you're going to want to go to Trailhead because you're going to need a net new analytics dev org uh, to be able to do this. I do not recommend installing this package in your production org. Uh, I don't think it would actually break anything, but um, honestly, Salesforce is a rather pricey business software that you should not be using to play video games on the company dime. So uh, to do this, we are going to search for the uh, trail Accelerate Einstein Analytics with Apps. And the reason why is because this very first module right here is going to give us a link to an, uh, create an analytics-enabled developer org. So you're going to click here, give it all your various information. It's going to send you a verification email, you verify, et cetera, et cetera. This should be old hat to you if you've done a lot of trails before. Uh, once you do that, you're going to have a net new developer org, uh, and from there, you're going to want to navigate to the installation link, which is just going to be bit.ly slash Let's Play Blackjack with a capital L, a capital P, and a capital B. Uh, from here, you're going to tell it what to do, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, install for all or install for uh, admins. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference because this is the you're the only person in this org, and you are an admin. Uh, at this point, you're going to watch a load spinner or you're going to get up and go get a cup of coffee. Your choice. So eventually, you're either going to see this screen or you might see a screen that says, hey, it's taking a while. You're going to have to wait until you get a confirmation email. But either way, uh, it doesn't really matter. Once you do, you're going to want to navigate to uh, Analytics Studio. And the reason why is because we are going to need to run a data flow before this is going to work. If you try playing the game without running the data flow, it's, it's not really going to do a whole lot. Um, you do need that data flow to be in place first. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to click up on the waffle uh, and we're going to select Analytics Studio. And from there, we're going to click this gear in the top right, select Data Manager. We're going to go to Data Flows and Recipes. Click the drop down next to the Blackjack data flow and click Run Now. So what this data flow does is it just makes sure that we have a placeholder data set that has exactly one row of data so that we can map our SQL queries directly onto it. Uh, basically, all it's doing is it's querying users, and then it's going to filter so that we only have one row that we know will always be there. This is the analytics integration user. And then we register it as a data set called cards because we're actually going to be mapping cards over that. So go over to the data monitor and spam the refresh button. And look at that. It finished at 3.46 p.m., which is funny because it's actually 6.46 p.m. The key here, I don't live in San Francisco. So once the data flow is complete, you should be ready to play here. And to do that, you're going to navigate uh, via the waffle down to Blackjack. And it might be a little clunky the first try. So right here, it's going to say your flow finished and literally nothing happened. You're going to see some broken link widgets. Just give it a reload. It's not a big deal. It's OK. It's not like you paid me for this. So now it looks like the game should actually work. So go ahead and put in your bet. So I'm going to start by betting 100. And looks like the initial deal is complete. I've got some cards here. I'm going to choose to hit. Because I've only got 11. Dealer's showing a 10. Who knows what he got? And uh, it looks like somehow that resulted in me winning. Oh, because I have exactly 21. Cool. That, that seems to have worked. So special shout out to Chris Ager, who did help me get this one out the door. And if you enjoyed this video, hopefully you'll enjoy the game as well. And hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy taking it apart and figuring out how the whole thing works. And please like, subscribe, tell a friend. And as always, thanks for watching.